Hi, this is John Clements. Welcome to the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is October 15th, 2008. We're out here in the UMass Cold Spring Orchard in an apple variety block. Today's a nice sunny mid-fall day. And I wanted to show you quickly this scab resistant apple called Topaz. Uh, I've been fruiting Topaz now for three years. Sometimes it's referred to as Crimson Topaz. And I'm reasonably impressed. It's, it's a Columbus Day ripening, rather tart, nicely uh, colored red apple. These trees from C&O Nursery have been very productive. Um, they fruited last year, and as you can see, have a pretty nice crop on them this year. Um, it's a very tart apple, like I said, but uh, it's scab resistant, originally from Europe. And I think organic growers and even conventional growers, they're looking for a rather um, unique um, apple with a lot of flavor and tartness, will like topaz a lot. So. Um, I know Adams County Nursery has, is selling the Crimson Topaz, as is a C&O Nursery, where we got these trees originally from, so I just uh, urge you to take a look at Topaz. That's all for today. John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. We'll talk to you next time. So we're inside of a high tunnel here with some uh, primocane fruiting blackberries. These are blackberries that fruit on canes that have grown this year. Um, they have not overwintered, and this is a new development in blackberry production. We've had this in raspberries for a while. These are two of the uh, first varieties that were released, Prime Jan and Prime Jim. Um, and we're harvesting here on October 15th. They're really just beginning to hit their stride. You can see there's a lot of green fruit here. There's still some blossoming, some honeybees at work, and also some nice clusters of ripe fruit as well. Um, the size of the fruit is pretty good. You can see here, here's an even larger one. Um, so we hope to be able to continue to harvest blackberries from here for at least another month. Um, we'll see if there's uh, some real cold weather in, in between now and then. Uh, it may shorten things. We, we also have some outside so we can gauge the difference between their yield under tunnels and also outside in the open.